In part one of the MinNASA project, we talked about preparing the minimum OSD for connection to the NASA M light. The first thing we did was solder the two jumpers, one on the front of the board and one on the back of the board, in order to pass the 5 volts from the first stage to the second stage. And then we went and cut the etch to separate the 12 volts from the video from the second stage of the minimum OSD. Next we went to the Min NASA wiki and downloaded the firmware and the config tool. Then we connected the minimum OSD to the FTDI card and then to the USB port and uploaded the firmware to the minimum OSD and configured the panels of the minimum OSD. Next we want to talk about the connections to the DJI NASA M light. Okay, I've got the uh DJI NASA M light right here and its associated GPS. And I just wanted to explain that the GPS is going to feed both the NASA M light and the minimum OSD. It's going to send the or transmit a signal to both of them, sort of like a splitter. So we'll split the signal from the GPS and have it go to the NASA and the minimum OSD. Now the fact is even without the NASA because of that you can remove the NASA and just use the GPS with the minimum OSD alone. So I've got 12 volts powering a BEC which powers uh, 5 volts to both the GPS and the minimum OSD right here. And then I have 12 volts for the camera right here and I also have 12 volts over here to the monitor. Okay, so I have all three batteries connected now. So there's power going to everything. The GPS is hooked to just the minimum OSD. The NASA M light is laying over here on the bench, so it's not even involved right now. Just GPS and minimum OSD. And now here's what's on the screen. Let me zoom in here. Now you can see I don't have any satellites. Oh, pardon me, I just picked up three satellites, but that's not enough. I'm going to need at least five before it will display the GPS information on the left and on the top of the screen here. So what we'll do is just go ahead and take this outside and see if that happens. And here is what it looks like after I acquired some satellites. And you can see I've got six satellites right now and all the GPS information is on the screen. So right here, it's bouncing around between four, five, and six satellites. And when it gets down to four, it'll flash up no GPS fix. It does that sometimes. And here's the coordinates up here. I also picked up this information. Everything's working right now as far as the GPS goes. So that was it. You saw it. We had satellites and we had GPS information outside. And that proves with the GPS will work alone with a minimum OSD. Now we'll move on to the next stage of actually getting all three together. Let's go back to the MinNASA wiki, which is right at this address right here. And this is where we're basically pulling most of our information right off these pages. So we're going to connect the GPS and there's two ways to do that on this page and then I'll show you a third way which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, the first thing you can do is build an adapter plug like this which goes between the GPS plug which would be over here and the uh, DJI NASA port which would be over here. So you're just basically tapping into the wires from the GPS and then bringing them out on a servo lead and connecting them uh, to your minimum OSD. So you'll have 5 volts to power the minimum OSD and the ground and uh, then the TX from the GPS is tapped off to provide the signals to the minimum OSD for the GPS. And another way is you can open up the GPS puck and tap directly onto it with a wire right here 
and then you you still need to get five volts and ground from the NASA by plugging in a servo lead into one of the ports on it but you get your signal directly from the GPS so the third way which I am inventing myself I don't know if anyone's done it before they may have but the third way I'm thinking of doing this instead of putting the adapter between the GPS plug and the NASA or opening this up and tapping a wire in what I'm thinking about doing is soldering some wires on the inside and bringing them out of the case so it'll plug directly onto the Minim OSD. So let's open up the case and see what's in there. I got one of these socket driver kits from Lowe's that has the Torx bits and I'm going to use that to open the case. So just loosening all four screws. Okay, I'm just going to take the cover off and see what's inside there. And there we go. I'm going to take a multimeter and ohm them out and see what I find out. Alright, here's what I found out. Uh, this pin down at the bottom represented here in my little diagram is the uh, 5 volts. And then the pin on the other end, or the opposite end over here, is ground. And then the TX from the GPS is this second pin over from the 5 volts, which is right down here. So, feasibly, if I could solder a three-wire servo lead on those three pins, I could bring it out and connect directly to the Minim OSD. So I decided to use a servo uh, socket instead of a plug so that I can later plug different lengths of wire into it depending on how far I want the Minim OSD to be away from the NASA. Now I'm going to run the wire right through the side here and then connect onto these pins. So I've drilled a couple holes just with my hand drill here. <laughs> Manual drill. Just drilled two holes right here. And then I'm going to join them together to make a path for the servo lead. I put a knot between the signal and the ground leads right here just to act as a strain relief to keep the wires from pulling out. And then I've tinned the ends of each wire and tinned the contacts here on the pin row on the NASA. Now I'm going to try to solder the leads on. So here's what the solder joints look like right here. And I had to untie the knot because the knot was causing too much uh, problems with room in here and I couldn't get the cover back on. So I'll probably just put a little bit of rubber cement there to keep the uh, cables from pulling out. And maybe apply a little bit of... Uh, liquid uh, electrical tape or rubber cement between these pins because they're kind of close but yeah there it is just put the cover on and there it is and put the screws back so one more time here is the schematic and uh, this just represents the GPS plug where it plugs in and where the wires actually go so the ground goes up here the TX goes to this second pin and the 5 volts goes to this first pin and this is the NASA and light, of course. Okay, now for the test. A somewhat cluttered bench here. But what I have is the power LED module. They call it the LED, but it's really a power module for the NASA. is hooked up now. And I'm going to power it up with this battery. So here's the cable I just made coming out. And... I've got a servo lead plugged into the socket and onto the Minim OSD, and there's my camera. And I'm going to power the camera with this battery here. It's actually already plugged in. Okay, so next we're just going to plug in the LED module and see what happens. Now I'm going to cover up the LED module with this bag here because it's really bright, and I don't know what it'll do to the camera. So we'll just cover it up like that. You'll still be able to see it blink. So... It's plugged in, the lead is plugged into this battery, it's blinking away there, and everything's powered up. You can see the minimum OSD is also running from the 5 volts from 
the NASA and it's receiving the uh, signal from the GPS which is plugged in here into the NASA and here's what we have on the screen now, of course we don't have any GPS satellites yet so we're not going to see the information that's along the side and the top like you saw earlier in the video but it is working at this point now in the next video part three of the Min NASA project we'll be taking a look at uh, some of the insane soldering you can do to get some of the additional features besides the GPS so this is what we've been looking at or I've been looking at and it's quite a challenge basically you have to solder wires to a lot of these really small pins to pick up uh, like the gimbal signals uh, can be fed in from the NASA to get your artificial horizon uh, you can get your battery voltage your flight battery voltage up here and the status of the NASA LED module can be input here and several other things like the screen switch uh, throttle and there's RSSI I probably won't be using all of these I'm most interested in the battery voltage uh, the LED adapter and uh, the artificial horizon so I may be working on those things and we'll see that later in the third part